Last night I had a dream that they were making my YouTube channel into a TV show. And there were all these people showing up at the TV studio to uh, film the first episode. Sean Penn showed up. Imagine that. But then I woke up. And there was no Sean Penn. And no TV show. Which is a good thing because I don't want to be on TV. And I'm not the world's hugest Sean Penn fan. So welcome to Trash Picking here on YouTube. And it's like 90 plus degrees out today, so good luck to us. Petco, where the pets go. All right, we're gonna have to be careful here. Because there's address labels on everything. So look at the escape ladder while I work on that. All right, I think I fixed that. I think I fixed the address label. Anyway, oh, um, yeah. Skull fire log. Fireproof stoneware skulls. Okay, guess we could take that. It's a fancy box, too. Here's a Protec helmet. BMX. Oh my god. Is that Jay Miron? Who's that? Let's see. Ron Kimler and Jay Miron by Mark Losey? I can't believe they credited that photo. Ew, I thought that helmet was brand new until I touched it. Now I want to vomit. But it sure is nice seeing Jay the Tiger Miron, the Canadian beast, and Ron Kimler. God, I haven't heard his name in ever. Anyway, this is the, the real thing that I wanted. The Homer Simpson. That's a valuable plush. And it dances and stuff. And sings Macho Man, apparently. Is it gonna do it? Say something. Do as I say, Homer. Yeah. All right. There you go. Is that... Is that a Simpsons collectible? There, there's his hat. All right, uh... I don't know, what do you want? It's 100 degrees out today. I'm, I'm doing my best. Want to listen to me say ow, ow, ow when I grab this hot steel? Ow, ow, ow. Oof. Jeez. <laughs> really is pretty hot. And dirty, too. 
reminds me of my ex-girlfriend. I got two air conditioners today. I don't think they work though. You know what, I should probably take these too. <sighs> You know what these are? They're not something you need when it's 100 degrees out. But, this winter, somebody will want them. Wow, I got too much junk in my car. This is a, a firewood rack. Really? Gonna do me like that? All right, I'll fix that up later. But yeah, you put a couple two by fours in here, then you can make the firewood rack as long as you want. Plus I got this BMW wheel. And I couldn't find any damage to the wheel or tire, so that might be good. I feel like, A, I feel like I don't know what that is. It's the top of a folding table covered with the tops of paint cans and lots of paint. All right, whatever. Uh, I feel like I should take these. Are these something? Are they valuable? Are they vintage? All right. There was a price tag there. I'll show you how to do this forensic investigating so you can First of all, they're very lightweight. Second, I just whacked my camera with the chair, so, you know, that's good. They have a tag right here. There you go. All right, now we can just leave. <laughs> Put them back to where you found them. Put them back to where you found them. No. Um, see, that's what you're looking for. Made in Indonesia. Now, if these chairs were like real deal collectible chairs, they wouldn't have that decal, and they wouldn't be light and flimsy. They probably wouldn't be stackable. They wouldn't bounce like a basketball. Now, I'm not mad at these chairs for what they are. They got like some damage here and there, but they're okay shape. But these are not collectible or valuable enough for me to try to figure out how to fit them in my car right now. They almost fooled me though. This thing ain't gonna fool anyone. Hmm. I bet these work. Because if they didn't work, if they didn't work, why would they include the remote and all the accessories with them? Wow. Maybe they worked.
You know what didn't work though? That duct tape. We've been having a lot of problems with ducks lately, so. Why should I be surprised that their tape doesn't work? Anyway. I guess I can just uh, toss them in the trunk for now. All right, you think the duct tape will work on this one? No. I mean, if they don't work, people don't put them out with the remotes. So there you go. Get off. I am now the air conditioner uh, mogul. And, uh, yeah, oh, you wanna try and get these to fit? That one kind of fits. Now that one fits too. Did I ever mention that I absolutely hate air conditioners? I can't show you some stuff here, so we gotta be careful. All right, I think we made it. You know, I bet if you cleaned that toolie box up, it'd probably be worth uh, something. I wonder if my friend's gonna take that. Hmm. Oh, there's a spider nest in there. See it? Yeah, that thing's a big boy. Anyway, why am I wasting my time with that? I don't have the room for that. I'm gonna take this. Bunch of aluminum. Because why take a $200 Thule car top box when you can take, let's see, $4 worth of aluminum? It's all about economics, you know? I just realized something about my shorts. I thought I felt something weird going on back there a few hours ago. But now I've confirmed that these shorts are shorts no more. Now they're just rags. Luckily at home, I have a pair of Duluth trading shorts, which are thick, heavy denim, which is great in 98 degree weather tomorrow. But because I don't want to frighten any of the uh, beautiful suburban homeowners here in the middle of nowhere, the suburbs are over there. 
I wanted to find a quiet spot so I could show you my butt. I don't want to uh, frighten anyone, so I'm going to go home. We found a firewood rack, which is apropos. We found a flat screen TV, which according to this works. We found a tire and a wheel. There's some pipes and air conditioners in there. Those two air conditioners I took out of the trunk and put up front just in case they work. There's your boy Homer Simpson. I wonder if I should like use him as the thumbnail. Doe. God, am I gonna do a doe thumbnail? Yeah, probably. The road cone and you know, that's about it. And I'm not even sad that whoever that was saw my almost naked rear end because they're driving a Tesla car and I don't like those. Anyway, from the side of the road in the middle of nowhere, I want to say I appreciate you guys coming along, but I can't uh, expose myself like this any longer. So until tomorrow, when I hope to see you again, bright and early at the crack of 1.30 in the afternoon, thanks for watching.